Hello and welcome to this new Scale 500 news video here on the channel. We have some breaking news coming straight from Harper Wings because we have the announcements for the 0910 releases of Harper Wings, so the September October 2023 releases. And this batch has the potential to be perhaps the best batch of the year, but we will figure out what it's all about by simply taking a look inside. So let's get cracking. So the first aircraft we have in this new batch is the Airbus A330-800neo of Air Greenland, a model that I personally am very excited about. I do very much look forward to this aircraft model and this is definitely going into my collection. The official retail price set by Harper Wings for this aircraft model will be $39.95, so 40 euros. Then we have something for our North American collectors, the Airbus A320-01 of American Airlines with the Medal of Honor Special Livery. This aircraft retails at $35.95, so 36 euros. Something maybe for those retro and classic collectors could be the McDonnell Douglas MD-11 of Delta Airlines in one of their previous standard liveries. This model will retail at $39.95, so 40 euros. But it will not be the only MD-11 in this batch, as there's also the Swiss Air MD-11 with the Air Qualifier Group uh, sticker and the blue underbelly. I don't believe we have seen uh, this um, livery featured in Scale 500 yet. This aircraft will also be retailing at 40 euros. Something perhaps more for the current day aviation geek could be the Corandon Airlines Boeing 737 MAX 8. A few years back we had a 737-800 with the Dutch registration. This aircraft comes with a Turkish registration, which I think is a great move from Harper Wings. The aircraft will be retailing at 35 euros. Then an aircraft I know many collectors have been waiting for eagerly for a very long time, and that is a 777F of DHL slash Aerologic as Aer Aerologic is operating the 777 for DHL. This aircraft will be retailing at 40 euros and despite that hefty price I'm pretty sure that I will be adding this to my collection as well. Then no big surprise we've already seen sample models of it and we're actually just waiting for the release announcement and here it is the Lufthansa Airbus A320 Neo in the Lufthansa livery. This aircraft will be retailing at 36 euros I mean, when I look at the image here, I have my concerns again with the cockpit section. I think it looks a bit strange with the cockpit windows, but let's see how the aircraft turns out once it is finally released. Then an aircraft where I first was a bit excited, but honestly speaking, am more disappointed. It is an Airbus A340-300 of Lufthansa in the Star Alliance livery. And while I am excited about the fact that we get a Star Alliance livery aircraft model, I am really disappointed that they're doing yet another A340. Why not an A320, a 19? Some of those Star Alliance livery aircraft types that we haven't seen before, but no helper just rehashes the old stuff. And talking about old stuff, we are getting a couple of E3 Centenary aircraft. The first one is this E3D Centenary in a, in my opinion, horrendous special Christmas delivery. Of course, this aircraft has never been flying around like this. This is the annual Christmas model of Harper Wings. Fair enough that they're doing those models. It's really nothing for my collection, but I know there are some collectors out there that do enjoy those models. So this is what you'll get this year. And the model will be retailing at 39 euros. And since I did say that there are a couple centenaries in this batch, yes, there is another E3D centenary from the Royal Air Force. This aircraft will also be retailing at 39 euros and is much more to my liking, although you should know that this aircraft in real life does not fly around anymore. So this is more something for those with a bit of nostalgia. Then we have something for the Oceania region, but unfortunately just yet another Qantas. But at least with a little bit of a special livery here with the Pride is in the Air sticker or special livery, whatever you want to call it. This Airbus A33200 will be retailing at 40 euros. Then honestly speaking, I think a really cool aircraft in this batch, and that is the Rada Airlines Illusion IL62MF. I believe this is the last Illusion 62 that is still in active service. And this aircraft model will retail at 35 euros. And although I'm normally not so much for those classic airlines, but given that it's still flying around, this could be an aircraft model that I might go for. But in any case, I think it's really cool that Harper is planning on releasing this aircraft model. Next up, we have another classic airliner. This one definitely does not fly around anymore. It is a UPS Airlines Boeing 747-100F. 
I've never been a huge fan of that livery, but I guess it is an essential part for any classic collection. And if this is something for you, well, this will set you back with 45 euros. And then the final aircraft in this batch, the much anticipated Eurowings Airbus A320 in the Borussia Dortmund Fan Airbus Special Livery. Now, Obviously, I am a fan of a rivaling club, so this is not something for me, but I know there will be quite a few out there that are quite excited about the aircraft model, and I think it looks pretty good. The main issue here is, of course, the price, which is a staggering 43 euros. I would never have believed that we would reach those heights for an Airbus A320, and sure, there are multiple licenses involved, which obviously will increase the price, but 43 euros, that is very, very steep, and I'm happy that I'm not a fan of that club, so I don't have to buy this aircraft model. But if you, like me, think that those prices overall are just a bit too high, then do check out the FMB shop. Apart from having a day one discount on all models, they do also have a 10% discount right now on all pre-orders for these Harper models, so do check them out. Link is in the video description below. So what are your thoughts about this release batch? I think we have a pretty all right mix between modern day airlines and yesterday's aviation. Um, we have a little bit, of course, from uh, Oceania region with one Qantas aircraft model, although I honestly would have wished for maybe another airline from that region featured. And then of course we have a little bit of North America and then the main focus on Europe. For me personally, I think the Air Greenland is my highlight, the model that I definitely will go for. But let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And also, what do you think about Halpers prices? I mean, 43 euros for an A320. Yes, there are multiple licenses involved with this aircraft model. But I mean, we are now seriously within the scale 400 territory. I believe Gemini Jets charges around 46 euros for an A320, so only three euros more. But if you want to know more about how Halpers prices come together, I've made an in-depth video about that. And it should pop up in the top right corner of your screen right now. Or you can also find it linked in the video description below. Now, with that, we have reached the end of this video. As always, if you like this type of content, you are very welcome to leave a like. That really does help out the channel. And of course, you can also hit subscribe if you haven't already. With that, thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you soon again. I'm checking out and bye.